Hello there, everybody, and welcome to episode 28 of the Disgaea 5 Complete LP. Um, so we're going to do this conversation, but I'm not sure how much I played off screen, so just here are some levels. Achillea is way up there, followed by Zoroken, then Usalia, Serafina, Red Magnus, Christo, Sato, Metalia, all these guys. So, everyone is pretty decently high leveled. Uh, Achillea, obviously the most because Kilia is main character, and I find that whenever I play a JRPG, or even most games, I always try and prioritize, like, the main character, uh, such as in Fire Emblem, whenever you get, like, the, uh, stat boosting items, like the Seraph Cloth and stuff like that, uh, I always put it into the main character, just to make their stats the best, because, you know, they're the main character, they should it be the best. Okay, so let's do this. So, apparently we have Zerokin thinking, using his brain a little bit. Strategy? You're capable of thought? Secret strategy? What's so secret about it? Finally using your head. Good job. Well, I'm not going to count on it, but I don't mind hearing what you have to say. And now, because everyone's being super critical about <laughs> like him and his thinking, they don't, uh, he doesn't want to tell. That's normal, don't worry about it. Now let's hear it. So, it's too risky to face some blood. <laughs> it's too risky to face blood on. Uh, but, so if we're gonna fight him, I think we should aim for his old scar. But, I mean, he's, he's literally, he's saying that, he's saying the strategy that was just the one we used. I mean, I guess he is going to be guarding it now, so combo skill comes in. Combo skill. So, first we're gonna act, we're gonna totally just act like we're gonna use the skill, and then Serafina will you like just shoot him. How is it? <laughs> it is a very simple strategy. Most people would uh, think to do that. Not my style to resort using a cheap trick, but we have no choice at this rate. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, Zoroken, let's go with your, your very simple strategy. All depends on her aiming skills. Overlord and whatnot. Da 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 da. Oh, even more talking. Um, and uh, as you can see, my curry duration's at 19 days. Not sure where it was at the end of last episode because I did take a, a decently long break in terms of recording, like, spacing. A couple days, I believe. Uh, Krista, I'd like to, for you to prove that you're a demon right here, right now. Okay, so now they're trying to prove that uh, Christo isn't an angel. Because that's what Seraphina was like, Hey, are you? Are you an angel? You'll tell us, right? Uh, you don't believe me? He swears that he's a demon. Uh, then perform the actions of a demon that I will specify for you. <laughs> and of course, Red Magnus has no idea what's going on. So, so Kelly is just like, no, you got, you got to trust teammates. But nope, she wants to see the true form. <laughs> Easy tasks for a demon. <laughs> okay, about the person you're always talking to on your cell phone, I want you to badmouth that person, which. If you think about it, that's actually one of the best things he could have possibly been asked. <laughs> Sounds great. It's impossible for an angel to badmouth someone behind their back. What's wrong? Is that a little too difficult for an angel, Krista? <laughs> if you want me to tell you about that flippantly useless guy, I could compose a thousand-page essay. Would that be enough? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, out of all the questions they possibly could have asked Christo to ascertain whether or not he was a demon or an angel, they asked him the one that is easiest for him to do. <laughs> Doesn't mean I won't accuse you later. I will find out the truth someday. You better be prepared. Looks like Sarah's having super fun. You do too. But Red Magnus is always having fun. That's the thing. 
That woo, that was close. Ah, oh, getting the phone. Is it the uselessly flippant guy? Timing, being spied on. God damn, even more? I just want to play the game. Christo. So now we get, uh, Seraphine and Christo. Go test me again. How rude. I've never accused you of being an angel in my entire life. As though that, as though those past two conversations were not even a thing. Well, not the past two conversations, but the one at the beginning of the chapter and this one, the past one, now this one. Oh well, yeah, things are in different perspective in like the three seconds that we've not been talking. The reason you saved Sally's life, even though you came to be a demon, is because... <laughs> so now she is basically shipping Christo and Sally, which I don't appreciate. We don't even wear gloves. <laughs> no, I said love. It's painful and bittersweet. Yeah. <laughs> so they're basically making Christo out to be someone that likes small children or that may just be my brain extrapolating it but in love with Usalia nah <laughs> thank you for your feelings Christo but Usalia wants us to stay just friends <laughs> They, they just assumed. They didn't even take his input. Never felt that... And he feels defeated because he was just direct, rejected for no reason. Let's okay, so I think up. I'm... I think everyone's at full health. There they are. They, they are. They are. are. Um, Where would you like to go, dude? The dimension guide for cutscene. Excuse me. We're going to take back Lil Usa's home! Hurry up, little Sisto! Yes, this is Christo. Hello, hello! Long time no see, Christo! How have you been? <sighs> it hasn't been that long. Besides, your annoying voice saps my energy. Oh my, that's not good. Want me to teach you a good luck charm that I just came up with? <laughs> If you tried this at a party, you're sure to be the center of attention. Can I cut you off right there? I mean, like, forever. What? Are you sure? I have very important information for you. Is it about that anti-netherworld annihilation weapon? First, I have a question for you, Christo. I have some bad news and some really bad news. Which would you prefer to hear first? My only options are bad news? All right. Then tell me the really bad news first. Good! I just saw the horoscope segment on TV. Your fortune for tomorrow is the worst bad luck. Indecisiveness will lead to bad results, so be careful. Also, your lucky person is friends, but you don't have any. <laughs> Are you trying to pick a fight with me? No, this fortune is really accurate. You should be careful about being indecisive. Okay, fine. If that's the really bad news, then I bet the regular bad news is just a lame joke or something. The bad news is that one of the higher-ups discovered that you've escaped, and that you're in the netherworld. <laughs> huh? And the anti-netherworld annihilation weapon, Armageddon, is almost ready to launch toward Void Dark. Usually, all the meetings and paperwork take a while, but when it comes to these types of things, the preparations go really fast. Wait a second. The higher-ups know that I'm over here and they're still going to launch the missile. Of course. They came to the conclusion that as Void Dark spy, there's no reason to help you. But I was framed for that. That is completely not fair. Is this truly how angels should act? Unfortunately, that's exactly how we're gonna act. But there is one way to save yourself. Which is? In order for the launch to be successful, we need the location of Void Dark. Christo, you know where he is, don't you? You can see it with your clairvoyance. Otherwise, a careful person like you would never have brought up the idea of something like an assassination. Ugh. Of course, the higher-ups aren't going to ask for the location without offering anything in exchange. If you help us, you will prove your innocence, and the shroud of suspicion over being a spy will be lifted. Prove my innocence. 
I was innocent from the beginning. But you have no other choice than to take this deal. I don't think there's any other way you'll survive. Don't you want to get revenge on those who tricked you? Then you have to survive. If you launch the missile, won't the netherworlds in the area around Void Dark all be completely wiped out? Probably, yes. Armageddon packs a huge punch. Can I have a little time to think about this? Sure, but you don't have much time. The deal expires in 24 hours. All right. 24 hours. Okay, I'll be waiting for a good answer. Ciao! Why do you look so serious? Whoa! Why are you panicking like that? I heard something about launching a missile? D don't worry. It's nothing. I was coming up with strategies for how to defeat Void Dark and thought a missile might be a safe bet. I see. What a great idea! You want to mercilessly drop the hammer on Void Dark from beyond his attack range. I rather prefer elegantly outrageous strategies, and that one is superb! Oh! <laughs> hmm. From beyond his attack range, a real man would face him toe to toe! Let's worry about our strategies later. While we're arguing like this, he's absorbing the energy of Toto Bunny. Zorokin's right. We need to defeat Majorita first, and free Toto Bunny. Thank you very much, everyone, Flit! Please lend Usalia your powers! Right on, Lu Usa! I owe that little brat a little something, too! I can't stand losing to her all the time! All right, let's pull it together and go get some revenge! Okay, so I'm going to switch out the Joy-Cons for right now. So, I will be just trying to talk while I do this. You did. Um, I accidentally pulled the switch out of its dock, so I'm not sure whether or not that messed with every capture, including the auditory and the visual. But, I have now switched out the Joy-Cons. Okay, so we have Marshall Train. Oh yeah, I got the... So now, before it was Toto Bunny, and now it's Toto Bunny Castle. So they don't even need to do a new Netherworld, they just changed the right. We have a castle with clean water and lush nature. It's a symbol of peace. So after uh, I do a map on this one, or maybe two maps, I'll go and see whether or not I can pass the second Marshall Trial and show you that. Bro! Is that... B Bloodis! Oh, this is bad. Damn it! Void Dark must really want to protect this magical spear. I knew you'd come, warriors of the rebel army. I've been waiting. Looks like you guys have improved a little. But if that's all you've got, then you don't have what it takes to challenge Lord Void Dark. As usual, his power is immense. <laughs> his powering up just feels like a gentle breeze against my powering up. I'll take you on! Wait, Red Magnus. Can you leave this to me and Zorokin? Bro? Zorokin, let's do the final skill one more time. All right, bro. Let's bring Master back to his former self. Oh, so just the two of you are going to face me. You underestimate me. Now, Seraphina, sis! Roger! 
so we came up with a brilliant strategy. <laughs> so that's the deal. All right, Zorokin. Let's go. Okay, bro. Ultimate demon technique. Final skill. Avidia, holy water. What? What the? Fool, did you think I would fall for the same move again? B bro Stay calm. We can push through this. You novices! <laughs> A final skill that takes two people to unleash? Don't make me laugh. Damn it! What's going on? We didn't mess it up, so why isn't it working? Fool, it's because of your inexperience. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Master. Don't misunderstand, Zorokin. This man isn't Goldion. Now, it's my turn. Are you ready? Please wait a moment, Lord Demon General Vladis. The defense of this magical spear was entrusted to my master, Lady Majorita. Please, leave this matter to us. All right. Take care of these novices. I'll go take care of the other overlords who were inspired by the rebel army. Kilia, was it? Show me your true power. Remember that power you had when you first fought me. The next time we fight, if you don't show me that power, then I won't hesitate to kill you. You must be the outrageous vandals who harm my master, Lady Majorita. I am sure of it. I will not forgive you. You shall pay for that crime with your lives. We're going to pay for the crime of hurting a person that happily genocides people who did not even want to fight. Darn. Let's go! Okay. So let's pop you there. Neil! Over here. You know what? Let's go! Because you're there, I'll throw you ah! here. Oh, damn. Not strong enough. So there you go. Okay. The thing about skills is that they're, uh, like power levels. Let's like the, go, go, the go! Ranking of them. Is almost actually very important because, as right you can there. see, like I went through three of like, the, her special moves, but it was the final one that wasn't even upgraded that was the best, and I believe it was because it had the highest power. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. These guys are just a little too strong. You know, you guys, take care let's of super one hit. go! I only have this many people in my group because I sent all the others. Uh, <laughs> sent all the other ones hello, hello. out on uh, expeditions. Lift right Magnus. Um, actually, not too confident in Peta's ability to stay alive right here. So I am. It's like this person. Definitely has the potential to kill her. Because out of all the DLC characters I have right now, she is without a doubt the weakest one. And I'm not gonna put Pran out. Okay, turn. 
settings I need to have out or out. Here I go. <laughs> oh, those guys are just gonna be changing into stabs, bow, bow. I feel like how some of the magic chain weapons are just like the person, the model just splits into gets tinier and then flipped upside down to make it. Okay, shotgun craft. See, Peta's overload skill is only useful when you have already used another overload skill. And I believe it's for every overlord on the map, so it doesn't even need to just be like one. Uh, you're almost knocking people out. Uh, we can do Rising Heaven. Um, I'll just use you. Use time grab again. And. Uh, let's have you come over here. Crush, yeah. yeah. So let's, let's go. See this yeah. This does. I would have been ashamed to kill you if I somehow didn't kill them. Super. Okay, so that's good. Sir, so, how are you doing? How are you doing, bud? Oh, almost. There you go. See, uh, even though I know that first one would have uh, killed him because of the crit. I, it's still always better to just see that nice red bar, to be like, okay, good, I know I killed this person. <laughs> Let's see if I can hit... There's no way I'm hitting that. There's actually no possible way I could uh, hit that. But, it's possible. This throw range is enough, which I still don't think it is. Uh, yes, it is. No, she's just not powerful enough. Yeah. Okay, uh, a Fire. Da 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 da. Don't underestimate. Uh, so I really, I really do like this game, but some of the battles are just like, okay, come on. And I know I could have made it easier for myself. I could have put the stars down. All men are my I'm not like, I'm not really getting levels from doing these maps. I'm doing these maps for the sake of the LP, and that, you know, you want to know, you, like, I'm doing it for the story. Like, that's the entire reason. Otherwise, I just wouldn't even be playing the game. So I'm thinking I might actually drop the uh, stars down. Yeah. So levels are still important for the post game, which there is some content that I do want to show you for the post game. Uh, so you can't really be weak for that stuff, because even no star in uh, post game is still really hard. So I may just drop the stars down to make all this stuff go faster. <laughs> she said she won't forgive us, but she wasn't much of an enemy. That was our chance to fight Bloodis! Why'd she have to interrupt us? Bro, is what Master, I mean, Bloodis said bugging you? Bro? Our only hope definitely lies with the final skill. But we're not ready to do it yet. Wait, the only skill that you haven't mastered is the final skill, right? Doesn't that pretty much mean you've mastered the ultimate demon technique? You're not a novice. The ultimate demon technique is only mastered when you've learned the final skill. Only then will the skills reach their true potential. I... I didn't know that. I couldn't learn the final skill, so I ran away. I'm a novice. No matter what I do, nothing is going to change that. Why? Why won't it activate? It appears you are not yet ready to learn the final skill. But do not rush. Rushing will not solve anything. <sighs> Why? Now do you understand? If you don't, then it means you haven't trained enough. <sighs> Another lecture. Don't get so irritated, Kilia. 
We are demons. Our hearts are a cluster of evil. But when you can change your evil heart into a pure heart, that's when the final skill will activate. This story again? A pure heart? Don't be ridiculous! I'm not being ridiculous. No matter how remarkable your powers are, at this rate, they'll all be put to waste. It's all in your heart. You must open up your heart, Kilia. <laughs> your yapping sounds convincing, but aren't you actually just scared? Of what? You're scared that you're gonna lose to me. That's why you're giving me lame-ass reasoning and won't teach me the final skill. I was wondering what you were going to say. You have a foolish imagination. At this rate, it will be a long time before you learn. Stop holding back and teach me already. Why isn't it activating? What am I missing? I've already given you the answer. Figure the rest out by yourself. That's part of the training. If you don't intend to teach me, then I'll force you to teach me! I have no choice. Ugh. What? Why? Why didn't you dodge it? You could have easily dodged it! You could become the strongest ever. But you should use your fists for the ones you love. When you discover the real way to use your fists, you will become the greatest. I... I... I haven't progressed one bit since then. Like Blood has said, I'm a novice. Okay, so we got to see, like, the moment that Kelia always regrets. Oh, a mentor is born, which God did, which kind of sucks, because I didn't even want a mentor to be born. So let's go let's go check out the instant farm in that. So you learn a little bit about the ultimate demon technique, um, where oh yeah, of course it's only super good if if uh, um, damn it, um, yeah, it's it's only a good uh. I, me trying to do things and then unfortunately not. Uh, so what I'm doing, what I'm doing there is because this statistician is at the top of its uh, growth, it can't grow anymore in the farm. But the men one of the mentors was also at the top of its growth. But by fusing the mentor and another mentor, uh, it actually got rid of the star. So I don't believe. And I can't add a statistician to this because it's not subdued. So unfortunately, and this is this is Durandal. It's uh, it's now level fifty-one. Say hi, Durandal. Hello. Um, but as I was saying, I'm just gonna leave him in there. Uh, even though the statistician can't uh, get any stronger, might as well leave it in there what? so it can possibly spawn another one. But as I was saying. Yeah, how how completely convenient that you know the ultimate demon technique which you mastered essentially all the moves in only unlocks its truest powers when <laughs> you, you unlock the final skill because it just makes everything super powerful. Oh, how convenient! How plot convenient that is. Uh, and I say plot convenient. It's really just like of course because you need to keep it going. You can't just let your main character be super power. Um, let's fix hospital. You up. Oh yeah, and let's actually go to cheat shop. Best. Indeed, cheating is the best. I'm glad you agree. And let's let's drop you down to one star. But actually, let's go to zero star. That way, all you guys can see where where they're supposed to be, like the the level you are intended to be at uh, this stage in the game. Uh, so let's save. But. I also want to do is go to strategy assembly and do the uh, suggest martial training again. See, I uh, yeah, and best battle buddies was that. So these are 20 percenters. Uh, 
So let's see whether or not I have the items needed to do this. Because essentially, the lower the percent, the more you can expect to just see red people. Um, and now I'm at a point where like even level 120 people aren't scary to me, as long as they're not... Uh, and like she would be scary, but I'm not scared of her because she's more of a intelligence type character, so physical attacks. So I'm trying to go through and find people that would be scary. So I might be able to force this one if I have to, but I'd still rather not. Um, so he likes hands. Um, forget, yeah, band hand. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just gonna do these because I don't ever plan on using hands again, like ever, after <laughs> after that very good show of me stealing that one thing from them. Uh, those are glasses, and you also like hands. Okay, so right now you're either way. Okay, you're leaning yes, so I might get a yes from you. Prinny God. <laughs> His name is Prinny God. So he likes consumable items. I'm guessing that specifically means food. Uh, so I guess I'll give him some chocolate. Because I don't believe chocolates are all that good. But he really wants that hamburger. So, you know, let's just... Let's, go, let's give him this stuff, because I'm never going to use it. Okay, total support from that Prinny God. Um, you like symbols, which I don't have a lot to give. Uh, you like axes, which I have plenty of. Um, okay, so you're a... Damn it! <laughs> uh, I'm just showing my ineptitude. Okay, so golden hatchet. These guys... So this is why the item weld is, like, the best thing. Because it makes everything easier. It makes regular battles easier. It makes, like, this easier. Because, hey, look! I just have all this stuff that is super useful. Um, crosshair. Okay, there they are. I just wanted to get to the bottom of the list. I, I knew I didn't have all that many shoes, but I, you don't want to start at the bottom, at the top, because then you're getting rid of all your good stuff. So you always go from the bottom. Okay, you're in favor of, um, and, um, this might be the moment where I, uh, force him. Oh, God. Here I come! Uh, I believe I saved. So, what's pay? about it. So, I would have to pay... 12,300,000. And you know what? I'm gonna see... To keep this entertaining, I'm gonna see if I can persuade them by force. So, as you can see, everything pops out there. So the, one of the keys to uh, doing this is you need to kill as many people as fast as possible. Because you can't... Like, you can't assume... That, like you're gonna be safe. Like the, these people, like they're going to attack you, and they're going to get you good. And what I always do is I always try and make sure I know which people I'm attacking. And it's really easy because the ones you attack are the ones on the table. The ones you don't are the ones that are here. You can see that I actually was pretty good with who I picked because now I don't have to fight a few of the people. Of course, I still have some of them that were decently high level, although I think I took out like a level 180 in one hit, because he wasn't that strong. Um, and I have to use Red Magnus. Like, I can't deliver him back. Oh, I can deliver him back to the base. That is awesome. Well, that immediately destroyed what I thought. Okay, let's just take out you, because I don't think those were strong people. But even if they were, I mean, I'm gonna kill ya. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep Red Magnus out because he is one of he is stronger than other people I have, but he also has a decent throw. And I am going to 
Okay, so that wasn't it. So you don't like ice. You also don't like ice. And that's a nice attack. So that's probably the max amount I'm going to be able to get. But, and you can't capture senators. Uh, yeah, so I would rather do this to kill one person guaranteed than to be like, oh, no, I'll see uh, how it goes. Um, and now I'm going to pull him out, put her on the base panel, lift her so she doesn't have to move, and throw her, and move him or her right over there, go Terra Ice, and do this. Let me thank you. You yeah, and all these people do generally, like, give a lot of XP, I think. Yeah. I think they give more than uh, average XP, you. just because of, like, the nature of the fight. And if you attack someone who isn't, uh, who isn't against you, they will then be against you and do their, uh, oh, these guys are weak. I should attack one of the stronger people, since I got the range. Uh, 120... 220. I don't... Unfortunately, I do not yeah. have the, Maybe this will hit. Yes, I do have the means to hit them. And I'll be taking out one of them, and unfortunately I can't take out President. Uh, these guys... See, I do like how they're all, like, higher level now that I've been sending them to places. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. turn there, because I don't want to. I just tap my finger against the yeah. desk accidentally. Okay, so now they're gonna be ganging up on Zoroka, which is which isn't bad. Like he may die, um, but uh, oh crap! Um, oh crap! Oh wow, they're just missing him. I'll show you. So they're not they're not damaging him because his speed and hit is super high. I believe it's directly speed is uh, the notion of how likely you are to dodge. I'm gonna do that and kill those guys. Uh, oh, and he is an enemy. He's just sleeping. Because maybe I accidentally hit him? I don't know particularly why he doesn't like me anymore. Um, so I'll just do that. Um, go back in there. You can go back in there. Um, so, Prinny God. Uh, you don't like fire, so I just... I'm gonna terrify you, see how that works. Okay, 66%, so... You're 180, so I'm just gonna come... Backslash... Backslash! I'm, I'm excited for, uh... Another Switch game, the, uh... Uh, Xenogear 2. Uh, because I played some of the 3DS... The new Nintendo 3DS version of the first Xenoblade Chronicles. But I didn't finish it because it was just like, I, there are other games that came up that I really wanted it's to play, so I never got around to it. Yeah. It's all over, dude. <laughs> Unfortunately. But that one looks really fun. Yeah. Like, it looks like it'll be a good game to finally like, get into the series like super hard. Not that I'll go back and play other games in the series, but... Um, okay, that'll take him out. Which I think they split it. So. Okay, so we just persuaded by force. So we just uh, basically pushed a law through Netherworld Solutions. Because I I knew we were gonna get that trophy, but I forgot what it was called. So I didn't want to try and call out to it uh, prior. Let's fix and you up. That battle actually like, counted as a battle, and surprisingly took a lot less damage than I thought we would. Okay, so now, because we have done that, I'm going to save, because after you do something important like that, you always want to save. Where would you like to go, dude? Dimension Guide, and before we go to the Dimension Guide and do anything, I want to interrogate some people this is it. to keep efficiency up. So I'm just going to special him, I'm just going to keep tapping. Yeah, that's just me tapping. Boink, okay, cool. Where would you like to go, dude? Right here. Gonna go to martial training, 
second trial. So, here's to hoping that this isn't, like, super-powered, because these are all, like, training stages that change. Okay, I remember this one. So, basically, I believe... Um, this guy's just out there for, like, no reason. Basically, you're... Uh, the concept is you're in like a coliseum where everyone's watching. These people don't have stats, as you can tell, so they're literally just part of the environment. So in this map, all of these people have uh, enemy boost plus 50%. So that makes them hard. But of Let's course, go. that's the f this is the first map in the thing. And I could I could just get rid of these guys by capturing them right there, which wouldn't be bad because they are level uh, 150. But, because this is a training place, I want to do my best and get as much XP as possible. Of course, Killy is able to, like, just do it easily because he is the highest level, has the best equipment, so on and so forth. Uh, go, go, gadget skis. Um, ideally I would want Zoroken to be here. Because otherwise, I'm not going to be able to hit. I'll only be able to do that. So let's see how this goes. Because I know one of. Yeah, I knew that Sekulus would survive. I just love hearing the. Uh, okay, so we're doing damn well in this, in this one. And she has a ranged counter. So she's level 150. Um. <laughs> I'll never let anyone feel pain. Uh, no, screw it. That's gonna put Kilia in harm's way. Yeah, because I don't want. Because uh, there are multiple endings to Disgaea games, and I know in the first game to get like the not canon ending. Or, like, to... Because the best ending essentially required you to go through the entire game without killing anyone on your team. Like, they could die. Fix you up. But you couldn't cause it directly, like, through your own moves and whatnot. And I think that it was, like, even one was too much. So I never got, like, the best ending in that game. What? But I'm not completely sure how the endings in this game compare. Because I have only ever gotten the standard one. Uh, I've never, like, uh, tried to get anything more than that. Uh, okay. So now we have four of the ships. All those. Now we have here. Where we have two higher level ones. Um, you guys should be able to take it. I love being able to just, like, okay, yeah, I have enough people in there now. Research. Cool. You were given a challenge. Uh, 39. Yeah, dude. 42. 42. Oh, yeah, nice. dude. Like, oh, they're just all getting their levels from <laughs> researching, which is pretty funny. It, it wasn't a way I had thought of originally that I would be awesome. like, oh yeah, this is how they're all gonna like stay at a decent level. But as you can see, even at no stars, that martial training was still at level 150. So you need to, like, really want it. Um, uh, boot camp. No, I don't. I may start just filling these out because I can. Even though I don't really ever plan on using them. Of course, I want to do that after. I don't like starting them and not finishing them. Uh, like this. So I might just... I'm just gonna try and finish this squad. And of course I say that after I have the channeling and boot camp squad at nearly the end. I just haven't done them, so... I'm basically undermining my own words with other words. Okay. So I just saved. So let's go do the conversations, because... I, I kind of want to start next episode differently. How about I don't start it in a conversation? Uh, okay, so now they're questioning because Red Magnus changed apparently. He got his overload skill uh, upgrade and whatnot, and I just got a text because I forgot to put my phone in silent. Uh, I'm just gonna do that right now so I don't get uh, more texts.
because someone just started a group chat. So, or Max really matured because he got his new overload skill. He's more tolerant than before. Thinks there's kindness in his strength. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Zorogan just doesn't see the growth. Uh, oh, he brought, he bought groceries for dinner. Bought super sweet curry roux for Lulusa. So, he does seem to be a little bit different because uh, past Red Bangers would just be like, yo, I want dinner probably. Starting to change from a self serving overlord to a true overlord. So, complimenting will compliment you a lot, so blush even more. <laughs> You're not mistaken. <laughs> He's being mean to me. <laughs> so Zerogan didn't do his choice, he's not getting dinner. So that, that that's just the like, comedy aspect of it. So now this conversation again. Kelia, I want you to teach Usaya how to make curry. Usa, I'm satisfied with curry Kelia makes. So this is actually like a pretty decent show, because you know, if like I'm the way I'm imagining this conversation, it's just like yeah, shouldn't rely on him, him forever. Like, because eventually they're not gonna all... Like, they're not gonna be together for all eternity. Like, this group. Like, you can assume that at some point they will, like, each go branch off, do their overlord duties in their respective overlord. Uh, overlord. There's so much over, nether. There's so many O's in all the words you have to say. In their respective nether worlds. So it's like, hey, I need to be able to make the stuff I need for myself, I need to be able to rely upon myself. I can't always rely on you. Two, use this dark matter as a secret seasoning. You know, master the secret abilities of dark cooking. So yes, use dark matter. I don't need any help, so he wants to make it by herself. My, that would be a great opportunity to show off my feminine appeal. Can she cook? Like, yeah. Except, you know, I feel like her feminine appeal is all in her looks. Uh, she doesn't, she doesn't cook, she doesn't clean, she doesn't do much, she just has money, and looks good. Yeah, looks good. <laughs> so, um, let's go to quests. Let's see if there's any new quests. I haven't checked here in a while. Nope, no new people I can get over, so let's actually... Check because I haven't looked at my class in a while. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six classes that have yet to be unlocked. Um, two of them are humanoids, and the other ones, I'm not sure what monsters they are. I believe I need to get like the dragon Efreet guy somewhere. Yeah, and you can tell that uh, the four of them I'm missing are monsters because they're in the monster section. This monster begins at Prinny, because, you know, Prinny is our the mascot, sort of, of NIS. Or just Nisa. Or NIS, I guess. Because Nipponichi Software, and then the A is America, I believe. So, going to save here once again. And I'm going to end the episode here. So I will see you all in the next episode, which is episode 29, I believe. So we're almost at 30. We're doing damn well, because we're more than halfway through the story at this point. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you all have a very nice day. basically undermining my own words with other words. <laughs>